Want to go to Mars but the fuel prices are too high? Scientists from France can solve that. This and more in Science for this week. Traveling to space is hard. Like, really hard. Why? First off, you try sending someone beyond Earth's atmosphere. And secondly, space is big. Like, real big. Traveling to close by planets already takes months. But also a huge amount of fuel. Now French scientists booked amazing progress on the development of a plasma engine. This hull thruster combines a magnetic field and a trapped cloud to create a completely hollow virtual cathode. A small amount of propellant is injected into the thruster's channel. The ions are then too heavy to be caught in the magnetic field as they travel through. This creates a low pressure plasma discharge, producing thrust in the opposite direction from that of the ion flow. The energy this releases inside the engine corrodes it which leads to a shorter lifespan than traditional engines have. That's not good, but what is, is that it uses 100 million times less fuel. And what's more, researchers think by removing the discharge walls altogether, they can get them to last 5 times longer than they do now. Seems like every other week we are told that we have to rework our theories on how things work. The Rosetta space probe has recently revealed that molecular oxygen is present in the gas cloud surrounding comet 67P. This did come as a surprise since our initial theories believed oxygen reacted with other elements as the planet formed. Sight is the sense we most rely on. Fixing eyesight has only recently been possible with very few technologies and surgeries that can restore sight completely. The most recent development on the subject had neuroscientists restore the sight in blind mice by transplanting the neurons from healthy mice into their brains. Not only did this cure the sight of these mice, but it also restored full plasticity to their brains. Another interesting breakthrough in the quantum world. Scientists from Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich have been able to shorten the duration of electron pulses down to only 30 femtoseconds. This allows for the electron microscope to capture and record the fastest known atomic motions in four dimensions. It would be nice if we could go to the store for a new liver or stomach when ours doesn't seem to be doing the job. On the road towards the future, a pediatric surgeon and his team have successfully grown intestinal linings on U-shaped scaffolds using stem cells from the small intestines. The scaffolds used were made from a material with a similar compound to surgical sutures that can be formed into most any shape or size. In the past, things of this nature had to be grown on a petri dish and didn't take the correct shape. More stuff we don't know about space. New data reveals that there are cephites, young stars with pulsing brightness at the central bulge of our galaxy, the Milky Way. This was discovered by the VISTA, which is a telescope designed to observe the Milky Way's deep structures by wide-field high-resolution imaging at infrared wavelengths. This has revealed 655 of these stars and has changed once again what we believe about how our galaxy was formed. Genetically modifying our crops has been something that's become pretty common and reliable for the general population. Almost every type of fruit or vegetable has been modified in some way or changed drastically over time. Scientists at John Inn Center have developed a new strain of genetically modified tomatoes that can produce resveratrol, which is known to be a natural disease-fighting compound. Resveratrol is an antioxidant found in grapes that is also present in red wine, which is why people believe it's healthy for you in small amounts. The studies done on the drug have proven to increase the lifespan of animals. There are also claims, but nothing confirmed, of it having the ability to fight diabetes, heart conditions and Alzheimer's disease. Though many of these claims are still unproven, the scientists were able to modify the fruit to produce the equivalent of 50 bottles of wine. That was for this week for this week. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.